one of you stole it? Well, I know I just got here, but um, I would say Grace took it. Well, after being in the kitchen with Aunt Jackie, I just spent most of my time with Axel. We were just playing outside. You two have an alibi. You two have an alibi. Almost everybody. Hey! Oh! Oh! Sorry, dear, you just kind of spooked me for a second. What were you saying? I have an alibi. Mandy's our long lost cousin. We say she's long lost because sometimes we forget she's there. It's kind of weird. Well, 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 here we come to it. Little Miss My Turkeys have to come from France and Mr. I can't eat a Thanksgiving dinner without having a turkey because I can't eat just the sides. It's down to the two of you. It's ridiculous that Detective McClacken would accuse Sandra and I of stealing a turkey. I mean, we're the hosts of this Thanksgiving. Why would we do such a thing? I think Reggie and Jackie aren't telling the whole truth. What about you, Daddy? <gasps> That's one of his good sweaters. Sorry about that. Where were you on this fine Thanksgiving day afternoon? I was watching the Thanksgiving parade, like I always do, every year. Mm -hmm. And I went out back and threw the football with Reggie and Ben. Mm -hmm. And Jackie eventually came out there as well. I came back inside on my favorite chair and sat with Axel. We took a midday nap. Uh, uh, boring. Like, literally, what a snooze fest. Hey, got a joke for you. What do you call a turkey on the run? <laughs> Fast food, right, right, right. Why aren't you laughing? Why, I don't, that was a good one. That was a good one. Okay, okay. And what about you, mama? Okay, well, I was in the kitchen all day, obviously. I mean, how else do you think any of this food got made? Hmm. All day, you say? Mm -hmm. Really? Now, did anyone of y'all see Miss Sandra leave the kitchen at any point? Just once. Aunt Jackie put on a Christmas movie, and I saw Mom sneak to the back of the room to watch a little bit of it. <laughs> so you do like Christmas before December? It was Home Alone too. It's hard not to watch. Kevin gets lost in New York, y'all. Now, uh, now, Mama, tell me, uh, where exactly did you last see the turkey since you were in the kitchen a majority of the morning? Well, after I watched my favorite part of Home Alone 2, I went back in the kitchen, took the turkey out, and then I let Axel back into the house. Axel? Axel, now, now, now that is a name I've heard come up a lot recently. In fact, it seems like Axel's been everywhere all across this house. In fact, in fact, Maybe I've been interrogating the wrong family member. <gasps> no, not Axel. He knows better than to take food off the table or the counter. He would never do that. He is a dog with manners. Oh, don't worry. I, I've uh, brought just the thing for the occasion. <laughs> I always have these on me just in case I need to interrogate a dog. Ladies and gentlemen, I have found the culprit. Follow me. <gasps> Axel Zanelli. Axel Zanelli, how could you? I know you're just a dog, but you knew what that meant to me. You knew. Yes, that's right, another case solved by Detective Chris McClagan. <laughs> Technically, it's my, my first case, but, uh, but I did a really good job solving it, so I guess you could say 100% success rate. What do you call a dog that stole a turkey? Uh, Axel? Oh, oh, you're good. You're good. So I guess we'll just have to eat sides then, huh, Dad? I guess so. I'll never know what a French turkey tastes like. It's okay, Sandra. Maybe we should just skip to Christmas. No, no, let's have these rolls first, okay? Well, family, Chris, in the end, it turns out none of us stole the turkey. But someone did steal the pumpkin pie. Yes, and Sandra and I are gonna make sure Grace gets all the help she needs with her little pumpkin problem. Yeah. But maybe we should focus a little bit more about what took place here at the table. Like, maybe the turkey wasn't stolen, right? But our time as a family was. We pointed fingers at each other, 
and we blame one another as well. And that's a shame. It's a shame because we're a family. Mm -hmm. And at Zanelli's, we have a legacy to leave. And what is Zanelli's known for? Sticking, Sticking together. together. Sticking together. That's what I was gonna say. That's right. Sticking together. Do thick and thin. Mm -hmm. And just like God, we want to choose to be slow to get angry, yeah. quick to forgive, yeah. and we want to love deeply. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this may not be the Thanksgiving we all wanted. Mm -hmm. Truth is though, I love you guys. Aw, oh, we well, love you too, Uncle Randall. Randall! <laughs> guys, <laughs> what? Did you get here? What is that about? Where are you? Oh man, y'all.